Hey guys, what's up? In this video, I want to talk about 10 Galaxy S5 features that actually make sense. You know, those features which could be or must be in the Galaxy S5 which Samsung would implement in their next 5th generation Galaxy S5. So let's begin. The first thing that I'm gonna talking about here is the plastic substrate screen. So having developed its plastic substrate OLED technology, one would think that Samsung might want to use it in its next flagship phone. It's the same tech that allows Samsung to produce flexible or curved screens such as the one on the Galaxy Brown. But I don't imagine the Galaxy S5 with a curved display, rather it might be beneficial for Samsung to use a plastic substrate screen as doors are more difficult to break than glass based ones. Plus it allows the company to make the Galaxy S5 thinner or fit a larger battery. The next feature is the fingerprint sensor. Sure we still don't know if fingerprint sensor are really going to take off but if there's even slightest chance that they are. I'm sure Samsung isn't going to miss this opportunity. Now putting a useful fingerprint sensor on an Android phone would be a bit tricky because you have to take Google into account where, uh, which is where many of the phone's password or input password on an Android phone go. Most importantly, Google will have to integrate fingerprint authentication with the Play Store in order to enable such functionality on the Galaxy S5. But hey, nothing is impossible. Sooner or later, Google should add such an option for handset manufacturers to take advantage of. The next feature is the high resolution camera with lossless zoom. So we're seeing more and more of this feature lately and I hope that trend will continue with the advent of super high resolution camera sensor. Manufacturers are able to build a 2x to 3x lossless zoom capabilities into their phones and of course the Galaxy S4's 30 megapixel resolution won't allow for such functionality, but if Samsung bumps uh, up the megapixel to uh, something in the lines of 20 megapixel in the Galaxy S5, it can easily add, add a taste of lossless zoom and that would be awesome. The Galaxy S5 will get a new faster chipset, that's a given and with it we hope Samsung will also add 10p video recording functionality at 60 frames per sec second. The LG G2 was among the first smartphone to show us the goodness of 60 frames per second video recording and I have to say once you start shooting your video with 60 frames per setting there's no going back. It's much better and so naturally we expect to Samsung to build this into the Galaxy S5. As far as optical image stabilization which is OIS goes well most of the competitors now have this feature so we hope Samsung will adopt it as well. We understand this may be too much to ask from Samsung but it really be wonderful if it can give the Galaxy S5 a bit of premium design and I've seen well made products by Samsung before so I can't see the reason why it insists on making its Galaxy phone so ordinary and uninspired in terms of both looks and material quality. If not the whole body then I hope that it can at least add a few classy elements to the device like a frame from real metal for example. There's no denying that Google now is becoming an increasingly useful feature on Android phones but right now there's this inconvenience that requires you to first initiate Google now and then say your command. Motorola has found a solution for this with its dedicated natural language processor in the X8 chipset which enables always on voice commands capabilities. Hopefully Samsung will go the extra mile and incorporate such a solution in the next generation Galaxy flagship smartphone. The AMOLED display on the Samsung Galaxy S4 is impressive at first, there's no doubt about that. However, it also appeared as highly inaccurate to the trained eye. If you put Galaxy S4 next to a phone with a quality LCD screen, you immediately notice that everything is uh, somewhat greenish or bluish. Uh, but we do enjoy the perfect black levels and vivid visuals uh, and it'd be more than welcome if Samsung gives its best to tweak its AMOLED technology and make it uh, appear truer to life. And uh, it seems the company has this in mind seeing that it's created special professional 
photo screen mode which does bring uh, the colors uh, much closer to the reality but the overly intensive green color is still a problem. Another weak area of the Galaxy S4 screen was its outdoor visibility. AMOLED display typically have a lower brightness output compared to the contemporary LCDs display which causes them to be harder to view under direct sunlight. Thankfully, we've seen a substantial improvement in the area with Samsung's Galaxy Note 3 which is much easier to view than the Galaxy S4. Having this in mind, it seems very likely to us that the Galaxy S5 will also benefit from this improvement or why not take, this, uh, take the things even further. Sadly, it's not as likely for this idea to materialize since Samsung hasn't traditionally paid that much attention, attention to the loudspeaker it puts on its phones. That doesn't mean that they are necessarily bad. The speaker for of the Galaxy S4 is actually pretty decent for a smartphone speaker that is, but won't complain at all if Samsung decide to step things up by adding an additional speaker for some stereo effect and why not even make a boom a boom sound a stereo effect or make them sound a bit deeper like the boom sound speaker of the HTC One series. Samsung probably won't go for such a big effect seeing that it likely want to retain the slimness and relatively small footprint of the Galaxy S but still we'd, we definitely appreciate if it manages to put a better sounding speaker or speakers in the Galaxy S5 and make it a bit more competitive with HTC's offering in that respect. The Samsung Galaxy S3 brought us the TouchWiz Nature UX which was a substantial upgrade to the Samsung Android UI. Since then, the manufacturer has added slight improvements here and there, but most of the UI has remained largely the same. There aren't any indication about this yet, but we sure hope that with the Galaxy S5. Samsung will once again overhaul its user experience and make it a bit more modern, initiative and uniform. Uh, did I mention polished? Oh yeah, that too. Uh, seeing that it's one of the weaker aspects of the Samsung software. So thanks for watching guys. This was my video about the top 10 features that actually make sense and that will be in the next Galaxy S5 at least we can hope. So uh, for more daily tech videos and updates subscribe and also if you enjoyed this video then please give this video a thumbs up and if you have any questions then feel free to comment down below and i will see you in my next video peace out